Right, hi guys, it's Kate. I am totally in my pajamas right now. My hair is back in hair tie. And I was just talking to Rochelle, and I said, <clears throat> I burnt myself trying to depot my lipsticks. And she's like, what do you mean you're depotting lipsticks? She's like, I've burnt myself on whatever. So I'm gonna film the process of <laughs> what I'm doing and making a mess of. So here's what I've done. Um, I got this idea from, Shari Far. So I've depotted like seven MAC lipsticks so far. So here's what I did. I removed the the little thing on the bottom. These I'm actually choosing not to because they were my like special packaging. And I don't think you can do the Viva Glam ones back to MAC. I'm going to find out. And if I can, then I'll depot those as well. So I'm actually, I've moved on to some Wet n Wild ones. I've done two so far. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I did... I actually did two in one, so this is um, Sandy B Frost. I had two of these, so two will fill a little, like, one of these containers, and I will show you the full container in a minute. Um, I went to the container store today to pick up some things, and I saw these. They were $1.99, um, and they are the six-section um, stacking organizers, so what I plan to do is... Um, I'm going to depot my Milani ones as well. So I have Milani and Wet n Wild to do. So I'll do one and one just to show you how I do it and how, if it came out or not. I am in the kitchen. We have one bulb, so I'm hoping it comes out okay for you guys. So anyway, these are sterile. You can choose to wash them. I don't really care. <laughs> you know, anyway. So I did not watch a video on this today to do this so I guess that's why I burnt my hand because I have I will show you my setup in a second um I'm an idiot I thought oh well I don't know if it's just because I took a two-hour nap today I'm not really sure um yeah but I'm stupid so you have these you open them up I actually have stickers as well so they have these little stickers for the Wet n Wild ones and the Milani because the Milani stickers don't come off. They're actually like printed on there. So I'm going to write them. I have this. I have a Sharpie. I have a towel. I have a cup with my spoons and water in them because I burnt my finger. So basically what happens is <clears throat> the product looks like that when it's melted off and I thought it would be a great idea while it was warm to try and go like this to scoop it well it's a hot spoon I'm an idiot and it's like wax so duh so anyway this is the method that I'm using I have my like handy dandy light stick thing I have an unscented unscented candle in a dish so I can have consistent heat and Let's see if I can show you how to do it. Um, so anyway, so this is what I do. I will show you, I don't know if I have a box. Yeah, I do. All right, so basically I will show you start to finish. I will do this nice deep red one and your hands get messy, so just be careful. You don't like cross contaminate your lipsticks. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So what I found with the Wet n Wild ones, it actually, helps if you break them into sections once you get off. You'll also need some popsicle sticks or craft sticks, whatever you got. I got a whole box of them. Um, so basically, ugh, what I do is I roll up the entire lipstick and then I press it into the spoon. Then you're gonna take whatever's left in the bottom, if you so desire to take it out. You're gonna stick the popsicle stick in it and just scoop out the remainder. There's quite a bit in there. And then I just like lay it up on the spoon, like so. These ones are a little bit tight and they're like weird inside. Like they're like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like um, con concaved or something. So then what I do is I literally just go in and push it so that it will burn evenly. I'm gonna try and show you this. It, one popsicle stick. Okay, so you have this. I'll bring my candle up and literally you just hold it. I feel like I'm having a seance or something. You just hold it, you can shake your thing. Um, 
I don't really care about this spoon. It's just an old spoon that we have. The burning doesn't really affect the spoon, I don't think. Um, all right, so if, if you can see it, <clears throat> it's starting to melt down and liquefy. So basically, essentially, you're just gonna let that happen until it kind of starts to bubble, unfortunately. These ones are a little bit harder than the MAC ones. I'm excited to see. I'll do a Milani one next for you. Um, it's really, really easy if you're very careful. Uh, my finger doesn't hurt too much right now. Um, eyes wouldn't adjust. I'm gonna just put this down. You guys kind of get it. Um, I'll be right back to show you the um, the pouring process. Okay, so it's kind of done. You could probably still see the smoke. I would strongly recommend you like put this down for this, but for you, I'll show you. And you literally just pour the lipstick into the container. And that, my friends, is it. Leave it sit on the table. And then I put my spoon, because it's hot, I don't know if you can see the steam, into the cup to cool off. And then I'll wipe it off with my towel. And that's all I got. So I'm gonna do a Milani one. I'm gonna show you how I clean up, or I did. I showed you, you just like wipe it off with the towel. I'm just gonna go wash this real quick, because I've got a lot of dark colors. And then I'm gonna be able to throw these away. And I'm looking for like easier storage. I did see another kind of container that I was interested in. It would be slightly more expensive to depot into those, but I'm thinking about it, so we'll see. You could also use like pill containers, things like that. These are just, um, I've been looking for these <clears throat> types of containers, like especially like uh, Sherry Farr is a makeup artist and you would just use this, um, a brush, a makeup brush. Um, a lip brush to put those on and then to take it with you what I would recommend is getting this I don't believe they sell the little lids separate but you could put it on and then just stack them together for the day or something like that so it would be really easy to travel with um, I don't think you would have a problem with it um, and they sell travel uh, lipstick brushes I'm gonna do I'm gonna wash this I'll be right back okay okay Okay, so I'm going to do my Milani one next. Um, I'm just gonna show you for the sense of like having another option is you can use paper towels. It doesn't really work as well and you're left with like more on your hand. So I just wanted to let you know by process of elimination what really worked for me. The, <clears throat> I mean you can use those disposable rags too, but. I find that the um, texture of the washcloth kind of works the best. So here's my clean spoon. Let's do Milani's Fruit Punch. So I will show you, you lift it all the way up, press it in and on to your spoon, and then there's what's left. Put it down. I can use the other end, some kind of dual purposing. You scoop out the rest. I think these are going to burn down just like the MAC ones, so they should be fine because of the container. It smells so good. I love the Milani lipsticks. Um, you can also use toothpicks if you really like are ghetto like me and want to get all of your, your product out. Um... You know, like you just get down in there. I mean, it's not really worth it to dig out the rest, but you can use some toothpicks. You know, they have those flathead ones too you could probably use or some sort of like <clears throat> baking spatula. So you just take it again. We'll see how well these ones melt down because I bet you these are gonna melt down softer. They're a softer lipstick. The Wet n Wild one seems to be a little bit hard and it bubbled a lot. I don't know. Yeah, this is melting down quite nicely. Mm, or I feel like singing Kumbaya from that movie. Uh, Girl Scout Troop or something with Sally, whatever her name is. Yeah, these, these melt down really quickly. You see that kind of melting down? I'll be fast forwarding this part. I have no makeup on. Just my night cream. I 
did this with Abby earlier. She's not feeling very good. I did this with Abby and she blew the candle out. She goes, happy birthday. <laughs> then I let Giselle practice when she got back from the store. Can I practice for my birthday? Yep, sure. So I use a bigger spoon only because it's getting close to the top. Uh, the product is actually a lot in there. So that's just how it goes. And again, it'll be the same dumping process. You can see how it's like smoothed down a lot. This one is not bubbling as quickly as the Wet n Wild one did, which is nice. It's a smoother formula, which is probably why the um, lipsticks don't drag as much on your lips like the Wet n Wild ones do. The regular Wet n Wild ones, not the Fergie. I haven't done the um, Fergie ones yet. I'm just gonna put this down because it's getting a little heavy. Try and get it as smooth as you possibly can. I think Wayne Goss did this years and years ago. I'm gonna have to go back through. I think he's the one I first saw do it. So then you would pour it in. This one actually poured in a little bit nicer. But you see that steam. And then I put my spoon in the thing and that, my friends, is totally it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on how I depot my lipsticks. Um, I literally just taught myself the last hour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like more useless tutorials like this. Totally let me know. All right? Bye. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. All I can envision myself is like being a crack addict or something trying to like, I don't even know how they do it. Um, see it in movies and TV shows, so whatever. Um, we have no internet right now because Robbie's messing with the computers again, so I'm really bored. Can you tell? It's 1049 at night and I'm filming a video because Rochelle said to. So thanks, darling.